if you haven't had the news already well css just got a new function called calc size this is currently not available in all browsers but the hope is that it will be available soon but let me show you how this changes the game with css especially when it comes to animations that have to do with auto values so for calc size to work i had to download chrome canary this way get access to some experimental features that are not available in your normal chrome apart from chrome canary calc size is not available in any other browser but let me show you an example of how this can be useful let's say i have a couple of comments here this is just the html for it now i have some javascript where i get all the comments i have maximum characters and in this javascript i basically loop through all the comments and truncate the text if the characters are more than the max characters i have here and of course if it's truncated then i show the show more button and when you click on the show more button then the text content goes back to the full comment the show button is hidden and the comment block has a new class called complete currently i'm not doing anything to complete but i'll come to that now when you click on show more well we have the full comment same thing here same thing here and same thing here now one way we might want to improve this is to animate the text so that by clicking show more here the remaining items do not just jump at once but they gradually shift down now if you want to add simple animations in css you can use transition so yeah i have transition height and i want this to take 300 milliseconds but as you see here it doesn't still work even when i click on this there is no transition now the reason for this is by default this comment has a height of auto when we click on show more which means the comment is now complete it still has a height of auto and when it comes to animating between auto and auto css doesn't know what to do because what exactly is auto you don't know the fixed size so the only way your animation can work is if you don't use auto so for example instead of having a height of auto i would have a height of 100 pixels which looks like this the reason why i'm using 100 pixels is because if i use 80 pixels you can see that this text doesn't have the show more button visible anymore but if i use 100 pixels then any text that has three lines will still have the show more button and then when the comment is complete i can have a height of 200 pixels this way when i click on show more you can see we actually have a transition because css knows i'm going from this value to this value here is the problem we use 200 pixels here and now we have a lot of space down here if i click on this we have a lot of space okay let's say we use 150 pixels okay now if i click on show more the space isn't that much anymore but the problem with using hard-coded values like this is what if the screen size changes for example i'm just going to zoom in let's say i zoom in just to represent a screen size changing now if i should refresh what you see now is that this 100 pixels no longer accommodates for the show more button i probably have to make this 150 pixels before the show more button shows but let me just take this back so when you want to animate something, you need hard-coded values, but you cannot use hard-coded values all the time unless you need a lot of media queries to change things when the size of the screen changes. So one way we can animate this now, instead of going from this hard-coded value to this hard-coded value is you would need some JavaScript. In that JavaScript, you calculate the height of the box of the element, and then you can use JavaScript to specify the hard-coded values um, via CSS. But with calc size, we don't need JavaScript for that anymore. More. Although calc size still has a limitation in my experiment and I'm going to show you what that limitation is. Here we can have auto and here we have height of 100 pixels. Now when I click on this it goes to auto but like I already said CSS cannot animate to auto. So now we can use calc size and pass auto here and now what CSS is going to do is that it's going to calculate the size of that auto based on the screen based on the uh, box model of that element and now if i should refresh we have this now when i click on this you see i have that animation because css calculates the size of auto and whatever that size is let's say 500 pixels that can be represented here and that way css can transition from this to this so this is one way calc size can be useful when you want to transition from a fixed value to an intrinsic value like Auto. Now here is one limitation of calc size and I'm really hoping that before this is 
finalized or released to different browsers i really hope that this can be improved now when i have a height of 100 pixels it works fine on this screen but like we saw before if i zoom in height of 100 pixels no longer works but then if i use auto here now i'm not having a fixed height the auto can accommodate for the show more button this is the problem if i use calc size here and i pass auto if i click on show more you can see i lose that animation so calc size works here but it doesn't work here i mean calc size as it is currently it's already a game changer but if this can also be improved then it will even be a bigger game changer my experiment again i might be wrong let me know in the comments calc size can only go from a fixed value to an intrinsic value sorry i said calc size the transition can only go from a fixed value to the intrinsic value where i use calc size so 100 pixels that works fine here 150 pixels you can see because it's super tall then calc size gets a smaller height and the box reduces this is really a game changer and i really look forward to when this is released to more browsers and we can start playing around with this css function